Yo my people, how we all doing? It is me, Tommy Ronu 123 guys, bringing you some latest FIFA news. We got title update 4. Now I'm shocked about this because believe it or not, EA never releases these patches uh, into the game like this. I mean, it's just, they're usually like, yeah, we're lazy at this point, we're just going to wait for the next game. But here we go guys. We do have a patch update, title update 4 now, um, it's coming out on PC first and it will come out on consoles a bit later, usually 2-3 weeks later, but you know what, it's not looking too bad guys, I'm going to go over it in this video, make sure to like and subscribe to never miss out on more videos, make sure to check out all my other videos, I just released 4 3 2, 1 tactics, so you know I've done, I'm doing this right on the spot guys, now. Let's get straight into it then. FIFA Ultimate Team, you know, during away matches, yeah, pitch line colours. You know, these are little things you guys can check. I'll leave the link down in the description. Um, I'm not going to be looking over every single one, but I'm mainly talking about the gameplay. So here we have all the visual problems, you know. Um, you know, stuff like co-op lobbies, which have been absolutely glitched this whole year. Flare shots not always counting towards objectives. I know a lot of people have been asking me about this. It will be counting now. Um people not being able to see correctly the progress on foot champions finals qualifications all that kind of stuff guys we know that's always been a mess because ea visually is awful just awful but that doesn't matter guys let's get into the gameplay which is what we're here to talk about driven passes are now likely to be more intercepted by players standing in the travel path now we do know how op travel uh well how driven passes travel it's just absolutely op it's just the pace on them is unreal players seem to have the perfect touch unless it's your own player and um your defenders seem to just be completely bewildered by as to what to do guys this has been fixed now i'm personally happy with this in two well ha half happy guys because i know what this means is this the return of fifa 21 is the question because um, we know what FIFA 21 was like when it comes to AI assistance and blocking passes. I don't want it to become that. I want this to be in a smart way where it's right next to the player, he's going to pick it up, or it does not make him or something like that. But not that, you know, it's completely like blocking every single pass there is, then sliding across, jumping with the head across the pitch and getting the ball like, no, that nonsense, people. We want something normal. Some dribble animations were triggered by the left stick, taking small touches to avoid tackles, but only will be happening now when there's contextual agile dribbling. Now, I'm a big fan of this. I'm a left stick dribbler for days, you know. I'm one of the best, man. I'm going to give it to myself because I've been doing it for so long. Um, I love my left stick dribbling. You'll be able to see in pretty much all my videos. Yeah, I agree. You need to be able to have all the features of the contextual agile dribbling to be able to do it. I don't think everyone should be able to do it, so I'm not too fussed about that. But here we go, guys. Here's the big one. When defending crosses um, with the auto switching set to automatic on air balls or loose balls or only on air balls, an automatic place which will occur faster than before. This means we won't have that nonsense where people are crossing the ball in and then just getting away with it. Thank God, because this being nonsensical, people cross it and then your players don't switch and then it's game over. Thankfully, that's been fixed. Reduce shooting assistance when attempting a shot in situations where the goalkeeper is positioned closely to either one of the posts. Um, yeah, I, I don't know how much of an effect this will have. I think this is having an effect on front post shooting, really, more than anything. Um, but I guess that makes sense. And then obviously when playing matches with defensive corners, custom tactics slider to one or two bars. More players will be positioned outside the box and under halfway line. Now, this is what we wanted to see. They have patched the corner glitch. Finally, I am so happy with this because it's just not stupid. I don't, I don't even score goals from it anymore because I've had enough of the corner glitch. I think it's just stupid that we have such a thing in the game for so long. We're so consistent for people to maneuver their way around the system and score a goal. I am so happy they finally got rid of the corner glitch. Get out. Seriously, get out. Um, improved AI teammate defensive marking during short corner scenarios once again helping us with that uh, more t type of variety of shots to keep your AI can perform well we don't care about that uh, in a situation where a jockeying defender is nutmeg they will no longer perform in which they are slipping yeah I hate this nonsense you know when you get nutmeg and your player just slips and goes backwards man this isn't step up too yeah seriously just do your job and that is defend and now, thankfully, we won't have this. They'll actually not be sliding around. This isn't an ice skating ring, guys. Come on. Reduce the frequency of CPI. Slide goes. Yeah, I guess. 
But that's to do with the computer, so we don't really care about that. I removed some lunging animations that could occur when a control player was attempting to block a grand pass or a short lob pass. Yeah, this was an issue from time to time. Sometimes players did that weird lunging animation and you lost them because they wouldn't like be able to recover. I like that. I like that. I think that's a big improvement on um, increasing the skill gap. Obviously, let's hope it doesn't get replaced with something else. Not that stupid. But for now, it looks pretty good. Um, now, this is the biggest issue, I think. Goalkeepers were unable to make saves. Yeah, please fix the goalkeepers, man. It's just a joke what they've become. Seriously, I hope they don't become as OP as they were in the first patch, but seriously. Uh, when playing with defensive left uh, set to 70 or above, defenders could unintentionally drop too deep. Good. I like this because it meant that, you know, people were playing super attacking 70, 60 depth and all that, and players were still dropping. And I was like, come on, man, I want to press up. So I like that. A right stick switch into a centre back, a different player could sometimes be switched to instead. Beautiful, thank you. My CDM usually got switched to. I know a lot of people complained about this to me as well. I had lots of messages about this. I had lots of comments of people saying, right, how do I fix this, Tom? I don't know, guys. I don't know because it happens to me as well. But here we go. You have the fix. Um, we're in reachable diving distance. Once again, same thing. Goalkeepers, thank you. Uh, when performing a right stick player switch, the next play indicator could sometimes appear over an intended player. Yeah, that's why I don't... Uh, guys, look to my controller settings on that. I tell you, next play indicator is not necessary at all. You don't really need it in the game. So make sure to check that out. Um, in rare instances, the goalkeeper could deflect a disabled ball low shot into their own net. That's happened to me. I'm not even going to cap here. That's happened to me. Sometimes the goalkeeper can get a foul over a free or wouldn't step his other team. Wow, I can't believe that was actually a thing. <laughs> that's just nonsense as well then. Um, what, what do we have here guys? Team press meter would unintentionally decrease. I don't use team press. And whoever does, that's for you. When activating player lock, I don't do it. A player switch could not be requested until they let go of the right stick and put it in play. That, that I guess is once again one of those things where it speed up the game and make it a bit more uh, user friendly. Sometimes the foul was not called uh, following a tackle that was clearly late. Good. Once again, it's to do with fouling. What is up with VA, man? It's, if it's a foul, it's a foul. Call the game. When losing the ball in a rest situation, the original ball carrier could become stuck in place. I didn't remember. I've never seen that. When requesting the first time, driven past. Oh, that's requesting. In rare situations, play could continue for a short period of time after the penalty kick was called. What is that? That is nonsense. But that core play one right after that is smart. Yeah, you pass to the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper, you're still selecting him. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Um, play to sort of standing up. I'm trying to find something usable here because we've pretty much covered the most important situations. Um, move a leg away from the ball. Yeah, it was a visual, but did not. Okay. In rare situation, the ball was far from the ball carrier's field. Request to pass or shock could take longer to occur. That's true. This was so annoying. Sometimes the ball was so far away from Bappe, and Bappe will take 100 years to take the shot. Big man, just run a bit quicker and finish it. Yeah, like don't don't waste my time with it. Um. Decelerate when chasing after an air ball. Yeah, that's also true. They just slow down and then the attacker gets ahead of them, heads it down and keeps going and your defender's stuck in one place. I've had that a million times. Um, goalkeeper. Yep. Yep, yep. Yep. Could teleport when making a diving save. What in is this nonsense, EA Sports? Goalkeeper could teleport? Oh my gosh. I didn't even I thank god I didn't see any of this man. Um Oh drag the drag skill move. Thank you. Yes, this skill move has been happening a million times to me. I've had enough of this skill move. Seriously, I'm trying to do ball roll. Don't do that drag to drag thing where you spin his left right. Like, mate, no, I don't need that, yeah. I don't want that. Thank you, yeah. Um honestly fall to the ground. Yeah, they do as well. Waste my time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> players could sometimes stumble. What is that, EA? Um, that, that's just okay. <laughs> um, and I guess that's that. And I guess that's that. I mean, we're not going to touch on career mode. You guys can see that yourself. Um, you vault a football. I, I mean, I don't know who touches that. Pro clubs, obviously, the least done to pro clubs because welcome to EA Sports. They've updated some kits and other stuff that we really couldn't care less about because it doesn't really affect us in any way. It's EA just trying to be cheeky, make the game look fresh when it's not. Look, I have to be honest with you guys. I, I'm, I'm a personal fan 
of this, and I hope it's done correctly, you know, some of the things they've talked about are very, very important to fix, you know, small things like goalkeepers, um, but they're also the very, very important things, corner glitches, shots, everything else like that, driven passes, you know, but I hope it doesn't go the FIFA 21 route, if it does, it's game over people, because FIFA 21 was the most boring game of all time, also the le bit lowest skill gap I've ever seen in any FIFA game, this FIFA game for me has the biggest skill gap since FIFA 18 anyway, uh, 19 was galactic football, 20 was literally, uh, how fast can you fall asleep, uh, FIFA 21 was obviously, well, trash, and then FIFA 22 has the highest skill gap for me, but I hope this patch increases it even more. This could really bring the game into a very, very good ending, um, and I'm I would be really happy with that, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, comment down below what you think of the patch notes, what else would you like EA to fix, except the servers and everything else that's wrong with them internally. Guys, I'm here for you. Until next time, peace.